All right, welcome back to another C Sharp tutorial or guide. I don't know what you want to call these. Anyway, today we're going to talk about how to easily make get requests in C Sharp. Not doing it the old fashioned method. We're going to use a NuGet package. And then in the next video, we're going to make post requests. So I want to split this up into two different videos because maybe some people only want to see one or the other. That was my thought process. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you like this kind of content. I appreciate it. And also, I'm going to link down my favorite mouse that I'm using right now, this Razer Mamba Wireless Gaming Mouse. If you use the link and buy anything, you don't have to just buy this mouse. You can buy literally anything on Amazon. helps out the channel, and I appreciate it. And it's on sale. It's a win-win. Um, and to, today, we're going to be using this JSON placeholder dot code. I don't know. This is basically a free... API tester. It's a way to test out your code, make sure that it's reaching APIs correctly before you even go on with further development. So we're going to use this. This is a basic example right here. We have this. So if I copy this and I put it right here and I just go to this, you can see that we get this response back and uh, that's what we'll be using to test out our code. Okay, so if you watched my last couple of videos, this might look familiar. This is my console application that I ran for my logger demo. And then we also, what else do we do with this? We did something else. It was my last video. I completely forget. But if you want to go check those out, feel free to do that. Oh, we talked about exceptions. That's right. And I thought I would just reuse this. I don't need to make a whole new console application in order to do what we're doing here. So what we need to do is we need to install a NuGet package. So we're going to go to tools and then NuGet package manager, which is right here, and then manage NuGet packages for solution. And you can think of NuGet packages as just add-ons to code that other people have written. You can see I have installed REST Sharp, which is what we'll be using. But if you don't already have it, which I'm guessing you don't, you'll go to browse here and you can search uh, REST Sharp. And here it is. It's the first one. I think it tells you somewhere how many downloads. It's in the millions. I'm pretty sure I saw that. <laughs> oh, right here. Yeah, 70 million downloads. So it's no joke. People use this all the time, I guess. Okay. So once we have that, that makes it a lot easier uh, to make API get requests and post requests, which I'll do in the next video. But let's just go ahead and get started. So the first thing I did is I added this using REST Sharp here at the very top. That allows us to use our reference to REST Sharp right here. And by the way, after you add it in the NuGet Package Manager, if you expand references here in your Solution Explorer, you will see REST Sharp. And that means that it's now a part of this project. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is I want to create a variable, a string that's just going to hold this URL. So I'm going to call it URL and I'm just going to throw it in here. And there's a few different things. We're going to do two different ways. There's going to be this way, and then there's also going to be another way where we add parameters. So you can do it either way. All right, so now we're going to make our client. It's called a REST client, and that's going to make all of our requests for us. So let's call var client is what I'm going to name it. That's going to be equal to a new REST client. And then it'll take a parameter, and one of the parameters it can take is the URL of the API. So that's what we're going to do. And the next one, we're going to create our request object. And new rest request. Okay, and then if we had parameters like, oh, give me where ID is equal to this, or where the user is this, or whatever parameters it might accept, that's where we would do request dot add parameter and then add them from there, which I'll show you after I do this first one here. And now we can get our response. What's our response from this API? It's going to be client.get, because this is a get request. And we're going to pass in our request. And it requires you to pass in a request, even though it's an empty object at this point. So now if we do console dot right line, let's just do response response dot content dot to string. 
and then I'm just going to throw in a console.read so we can see what's going on before it disappears. So let's go ahead and run this. And here you can see that's the same thing that we got back when we made the request in, uh, in Chrome there, right? All right, so that's fine and dandy, but as I mentioned, the request is kind of empty at this point. Let's go ahead and use parameters instead. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to trim back part of our URL here. We're going to trim this one. And instead, I am going to add a parameter where ID is equal to one. That was ID right there, that one. But we're going to do it a different way. So we're going to do request.add parameter. And it's going to be the name of the parameter and then the value. In our case, ID is the name of the parameter. And the value is going to just be one. So I'll save, hit start, and here you go. We get ID, which is equal to one, which is what we asked for in our parameter, and we get the rest of the response that way. Now, if I wanna change it to two, just to show you that it does indeed work, let's change it to two, hit start, and now we get ID is equal to two, and it might be a different message. I forget what the first one said, it's a bunch of nonsense, um, but it works. All right, so pretty simple how to make a get request with this rest sharp NuGet package, which makes it really easy to make get requests. And then in the next video, we're going to talk about post requests and go from there. Thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.